One. Played wide by Foden. It's a decent ball across, but goes behind. You've got to cope with situations like this when there's a ball fizzing across you. Some nice football here by Spurs. Is it going to yield anything for them? It's Werner! And the man who's faced much criticism for not being able to finish does finish devastatingly. Well, it's a fantastic counter-attack. Brennan Johnson heavily involved here with that little flick, but Kulosevsky, give him credit. I think he's ignored Solanke here, and he's picked out Timo Werner instead. If you're looking at who's the best finisher, Solanke gets the ball, but it's really intelligent play by the Swede. And that is emphatic for the... Werner, and he's thinking, I've just got to get some power behind this. He's got enough time to think about it, and sometimes when you're in his... Because of injuries and the lack of availability of youth, they won't panic. And Savinho. Got away from Van der Ven. Tried to reach Nunes. Looking more like the away team in the, having to do a lot of defending like this. And then when they get the chance to counter to do it. Ake. Put down on the accelerator. Maybe it was the actual challenge where he's overstretched it. It was Romero. Oh, I had to shuttle across an eye socket here last season. Well, that's a dreadful giveaway. Straight to Timo Werner. And Werner again. Just for Timo Werner. Especially when you've already scored. Here's Kulisevsky. This is a doggy. Played off. Forward for the kick, as is Romero. Lashed over by Kulisevsky. If, if they actually meant to pick out Kulisevsky, I'm not. Mateus Nunes again, trying to release Nathan Ake. come to him and Benton Kerr ensured that it didn't here's Johnson it's the city have in reserve but they'll cross that bridge when they get there here's Saar trying to place one and he has perfectly well they really have Manchester City on the ropes now I can't believe that's got in, and I don't think Ortega can either. And probably the most surprised man was the goal scorer. It's obviously come through a clutch of players. Does the keeper see it late? He certainly reacts late. This will give us a better idea. I mean, it is beautifully placed. Beautifully called in. Solanke bounces a crack. Tom, who's out. But uh, when does City call on the big guns? Get warmed up, son. Come on. And he's trying to get the better of Archie Gray. And he's managed to shake him off. City's next home game is actually against Spurs at the end of November. <laughs> Nunes. Seem to uh, should have had that covered really without. Oh he doesn't trouble Vicario at all. It always looked like being the. Yeah. Yeah. run this time by Nunes, Foden's in the middle, just in front of him. Continually City 
shunting the ball over to Matthew to Nunez and they do seem to be targeting Archie Gray over on that side it's Rico Lewis suddenly opened up for him and for Foden as well he trying to help it across cleared by Udogi but the pressure stays on for the scan results here's Gundogan O'Reilly Nunes pulls it back to O'Reilly uh, certainly the pressure building as Nunes gets it across and Foden hits it but... in these are the situations that Haaland does love but you'd have fancied Phil Foden there all day long it's easy to take it a little bit early as he does stuff he's done little step over here stand up to the back post not an easy finish for Nunes got to keep it down get over the top of it cover it and he does that so well but I've been very impressed with the two wide men Nunes and Savino have been excellent haven't they the positioning of O'Reilly here he just gets on the back shoulder of Saar Gundogan drops deep to get involved in the build-up and that's what gets them off to it and it, this is the thing about Savino Jamie you can play off the left but he can also play off the Stand right. A beautiful he can ball. go either way and he causes such a problem. But this yeah. ball in. Yes. Got away from Gray. Okay. Got a touch, but only to the path of Brennan Johnson. And it's saved by him. Oh. Offside flag is up.